So Apple has brought out a few different MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs this year. Today, we're gonna to be talking about which one is best for you. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the variety of Apple MacBook products that have recently come out in 2020. We're gonna be discussing the Apple MacBook Air, the two versions of the MacBook Pro 13 inch model and the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I wanna make this video very short, sharp and sweet. I don't wanna overwhelm you with facts and figures. So we're gonna run through this very quickly. Make sure you pay attention. If you're looking at buying the MacBook Air, I suggest that you stick to this category if you're somebody that's planning on using this device for typing, reading and writing, and some very generic web browsing. If you're a student looking for a lightweight, compact, cheapest Apple laptop on the market, this is the one for you. If you're looking at doing a little bit more labor intensive exercises, even if it's still just watching Netflix and browsing the internet, but want something that is definitely gonna last you that little bit longer, well, the MacBook Pro for only a hundred grams more and a couple hundred dollars more is definitely worth the upgrade. If you have the extra money and you're debating these two, it isn't a debate. Just go with the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now, as you probably know, there's two versions of this bad boy here. There is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with two USB-C ports and there's a 13 inch MacBook Pro with four USB-C ports. Now, there's a number of differences in these ports, including the eighth gen chip and the 10th gen chip. Basically, what you really need to know here is are you somebody that's looking at doing some graphic intensive exercises? For example, are you using architectural programs? Are you playing video games? Are you doing anything that is peaking outside of the absolute maximum of some very basic Photoshop requirements? If the answer is no, there's no point you going out and wasting an extra couple hundred dollars on the 10th generation model over the eighth generation. The 10th generation MacBook Pro 13 inch model with four USB-C ports is definitely targeted at those who are looking to really drive the graphics power of the computer. It isn't the best gaming computer on the market, but it can hold its own. So if you're looking to play a couple games, do some graphics intensive exercises, maybe render out a few different models and potentially, potentially, even do some very, very serious photoshopping and rendering, this is the option you should be looking at. The MacBook Air won't be able to do any of these things. The 13 inch MacBook Pro with the eighth generation chip will be able to do only some of these things, but the 10th generation Intel chip in the 13 inch model will be your go-to for sure. And finally, if you're looking at the 16 inch MacBook Pro, well, you know what you're looking at, you know exactly what you need. The 16 inch MacBook Pro comes in at 3,799 Australian dollars. It is one of the most expensive MacBook Pros on the market, and that's just the intro model. The only time I'd recommend going up to the 16 inch MacBook Pro if you aren't already a serious power user is if you're already comparing the previous MacBook models and looking to upgrade the specs in them. Once you upgrade the 13 inch MacBook Pro specs, even ever so slightly, you end up in the 16 inch MacBook terrain. Don't be fooled though, the 16 inch MacBook Pro is very, very heavy. If you're looking to use this as a replacement for your desktop, that's exactly what it's gonna be. But if you're looking to use it as a student computer, carrying it around on campus, that is not the computer for you. I didn't wanna overwhelm you with facts and figures, I didn't wanna overwhelm you with specs. If you're looking to buy a MacBook, for whatever reason it is, you know what you need. This is just really a confirmation telling you if you're a student, very basic, MacBook Air. A student with a little bit more of a requirement for their computer, MacBook Pro 8th generation Intel chip. A student looking at graphics intensive courses, 10th gen chip, 13 inch model. And a student looking to replace their desktop who really needs a high-end graphics computer, the 16-inch model. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2020 style. And as always, I'll see you next Monday.